Hey yo, it's been a hot minute. A hot, hot minute actually, since we did some with Lowry. Some with Lowry. And we got a throwback right here thanks to Patreon, so roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider coming part of the. <laughs> Consider becoming part of this family by clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, like I said, today's request of some old throwback wit is John Demer, or it could be John Demore, or it could be John Demer, or it could be John Demore, but he requested Cyber Casserole. And yo, John, I appreciate you being a, a, t a patron at the tier that allows you to get your request in. And I appreciate you requesting this track because it's been some time since we've done some wit. And I know people on this channel like wit, and I just recently got into him like at the beginning or in end of last year, beginning of this year. So I'm excited to do a throwback and see exactly where he's come from and, and what he and what he used to sound like compared to now. This was uploaded in 2013. But yo, that's all that I got to say for now. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. And we got Wit Lori, Cyber Casserole produced by B Let. Let's get it. <clears throat> yeah. It's the Holy shit. Look how young this dude looks right here, bro. MG. <laughs> what the fuck you doing? She said you coming in my hair. I said I'm sorry, bitch. I ain't hot. Witty on a beat. I've been a beast since I was age five. If y'all ain't Hold up. This dude's talking about coming in somebody's hair because he aims high, like literally like aim for the head, aims high. Yo, that that is not with Laurie's style anymore whatsoever. What in the fuck? Like I'm I'm Blown away. Witty on a beat, I've been a beast since I was age five. If y'all ain't heard of me, I've been floating under your radar. While y'all be getting high, sky walking like Darth Vader. See, nothing is being catered. I fly, I fly under the radar while y'all just high and sky walking like Darth Vader, like Luke Skywalker, who is Darth Vader's son. Just that little wordplay right there, bro. That's kind of nice. But also, like, this, his style sounds so much different than this, and his voice sounds different. He has a very young voice right here. Y'all be getting high, I'm sky walking like Darth Vader. See, nothing is being catered. Fuck you, I'm duly noted. Rapper and a scholar, motherfuckers can't question the focus. You talk shit behind my back, don't think I don't notice. I'm high class, bang your girl in the back of a focus. And now she asking for No, yo, yo, just talking about banging chicks and coming in people's hair and all this nonsense. Like, what? <laughs> It's so funny to hear knowing like knowing what I know about Wit from what I've heard from him because I've heard like most of her his most recent stuff. But like, yo, this is like you could tell this is a young, immature rapper trying to be braggadocious on the mic, like trying to prove that he's got the pen game and talking about things that normal rappers talk about. And that's definitely not him from what I know from his newer music. And he said, I'm duly noted rapper and a scholar can't question the focus and then bang your girl in the back of a focus. I'm high, like, yo, it's just. It's just not him anymore. It's like we're in a time machine right now. And now she asking for my dick. That's a freeload. And now you just an X Man, bro. Like Magneto coming in with a. She asking for my dick. That's a free load. Like literally, like blow a load. Like she asked for. That's a free load. And now you just an X Man, like Magneto. Like like you're just her ex now. Like ex boyfriend, ex girlfriend, X Man. Like Magneto. The Magneto's an X Man. Bro, like Magneto coming in with a bam. Like fuck Don Vito. We been fucking all night. I need my cock back. Girl be like, Mark, I'm your fucking all night. I need a cock bag reload. Dan Vito, like, there's bars in here. It's just, it's just not him. Like, this is him trying to be somebody that he's not to prove that he's as good as he thinks that he is to people that I don't even know who he's trying to prove it to, to be honest. But the cock bag, like, because like we've been fucking all night. Like, give me my dick back, but reload. Like, you literally cock back the hammer and you cock back. Like a, like a gun. Yeah. Been fucking all night, I need my cock back. Reload. Yeah. This girl be like, Mark, I'm your rap, make me nauseous. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mark's dead, and he's the one with the conscience. Oh, yeah. I killed him last night with a pillow and a lockpick. I don't talk shit, motherfucker, I talk toxic. My brain is a mosh pit. I don't talk shit, I talk toxic. That bar is not really striking me as anything original because like, I hate to say it, but he is a white rapper that's doing what Eminem already did, which is what, which is why Eminem is as popular and was as big as he is because of his originality at the beginning of his career with like the Slim Shady Eminem like duo, like the two different personas that he had. So doing this right here, it's not, it's not anything original. And doing that type of thing on your track, that's the kind of thing that's gonna get a white rapper compared to Eminem the most. And that sucks because Eminem obviously sets a high bar for a lot of white rappers and the ones that the ones that follow in his footsteps or fall within the shadows that he produces. Like if you do anything, even just 
remotely similar to what M has done during his career, they're gonna say that you're trying to be the next, well, you know, big white rapper like Eminem. My brain is a mosh pit, they yell at Witty Sausage. I'm fly as a rocket, you fly as an ostrich. They asking for beef, I got these raps made of sausage. You wanna battle me, well, motherfucker, that's nonsense. These rappers want beef, well I got these raps made of sausage, like beef, like static, like they want to beef with me on the mic, but raps made of sausage, sausage is literally wrapped in, in like in a, I don't even know what it is, it's a casing, I don't know what it's made out of, but anyway, the rap, W-R-A-P versus R-A-P, these raps made of, made of sausage, and he says, I'm fly as a rocket, you as fly as an ostrich, because ostriches are flightless birds, they don't fly at all, and these are the kind of bars that like I know are good, like I know I should like them because of his creative ability to come up with like this wordplay that he's coming up with as like I'm, we're only 54 seconds in and I'm, I've dissected a lot already just from hearing this track once but these are the kind of like emotionless like it's cool that you're able to do it but it's also not that it's also not that accomplished because everybody in rap can do it now and there's definitely more clever versions of what he's saying and longer extended metaphors which are more not more but are a greater achievement it's a greater feat writing wise in order to put out like a, like a long extended metaphor this is the type of rap right here that that someone who raps on youtube would eventually fall into the pigeonhole of being a youtube rapper like your pen game is cool and all but you don't have any stage presence you don't have any mic presence you don't have any kind of you don't have really any kind of emotion in what you're saying you're just spitting bars for the sake of spitting bars trying to sound up trying to sound as hard as possible and i'm not knocking wit at all like i know this sounds like i'm being very critical but i'm also hearing him like seven years later after he after he released this song and i'm hearing the growth that he the artist that he developed into versus this and this is obviously very shallow because he was much younger if Wit was spitting this way in 2020, I would be completely like destroying his ass right now. Like I would be going in as a critic. I would be going hard like, yes, okay, your pen game is cool, but this is shit. But this is not shit considering how young he was. And that's, this is like the foundation for what eventually he would mold into be the artist that he is. The artist that he is today puts away similes and metaphors that are kind of just pointless and meaningless for more emotion filled bars. And that's who, that's the wit that people love. Don't fly as a rocket, you fly as an ostrich. Uh -huh. They asking for beef, I got these raps made of sausage. Yeah. You wanna battle me? Well, motherfucker, that's nonsense. Rap game phenomenon Coming for the top and I ain't even got a condom on S on my chest <laughs> like I'm straight out of Comic Con Girl stop talking, got some meat for you to slobber on I took a trip that See like these bars are not him bro And I, and I want to say like these bars weren't him either in 2013 But he just knew he had to say what he had to say And he had to write his way out of this stigma that he was more than likely going to have He had to show that he had that pen to be able to keep up with other artists that were talking about this Coming for the top and I ain't even got a condom on and S on my chest like I'm straight out of Comic-Con like someone who goes to Comic-Con and dresses up as Superman all of these are just very simple bars and he just happens to be doing them back to back to back and this is what I'm saying like his writing has matured out of Comic-Con girl stop talking got some meat for you to slobber on I took a trip to hell just so I could battle demons met a girl I call her great white she always swallows semen took a minute to evolve and now I got the fans feeling need a girl with a rack in the back of a four season I'm a crazy I need a girl with the rack in the back of a four seater like that rhyme scheme right there but again like there's nothing within these bars that's that's not really impressive these are these are very straightforward lyrics maybe straightforward for me i don't know about everybody else that's listening to this but these are very simple bars i took a trip to hell just so i could battle on my demons i got a girl call her great white she's always swallowing semen like semen great white like the great white that's in jaws like swallowing like swallowing humans but swallowing semen like just that wordplay between that again like it's it's good it's just it's just nothing though crazy white two chains you could call me two knives nerdy little wayne with the presence of a new guy y'all see my greatness you ain't looking through your two eyes on, they told me i had competition look around do i who knew i would be your girl's favorite mc back when we were in high school and you were bullying me now you the local bar hero and it's funny to see i drop kick you in the face and break your back with an e and this song is just like it's like it's it's good they told me i have competition look around do i you're looking at greatness if you're not seeing greatness you're not looking with your two eyes you used to talk shit about me in high school but now you're just the local bar bar hero you're someone who never made it never never lived up to what you thought you could live up to while i'm over here chasing my dreams and doing fantastic at it and this production right here is so 2013 bro this is so young money cash money ymcmb this it's just so funny that it sounds like that kick you in the face and break your back with an e yeah. And this song is just for play. Uh -huh. You hear Mike's a rapper now? And he's yelling, no way. Yeah. I'm sorry, fake friends, but I won't miss you like a snow day. Nah. If you coming after me, I'll leave your rats in the back with dope. Okay. I'm 
I won't miss you like a snow day, like you miss school during a snow day. Leave your rats in the back with those Oh, lay, keep the ball coming. I got a couple fans now that's gotta count for something. Right. These fake rappers, my fans should only have a dozen. Yeah. Doing it for the girls, lying, saying that they bust, hey, honey. They told me I was doing it for the girls and lying like and saying they wasn't like Drake has already said that like you go out and buy your buy my CD and claim you got it for your sister doing it for the girls lying saying that they bust hey, honey they told me I was never good enough skinny white boy from the burbs wasn't hood enough I couldn't make a team because my body wasn't big and buff I never got the grades because I never really gave a fuck or I'll never be shit well fuck you for doubting me they call me a loser while I rock the name proudly now every accolade that I receive I make a tally at a party with some liquor and the girls are yelling drown me wait he's still the mean and still a motherfucking genius I'm just talking about all his adversities that he had to come up with in the game and I'm sure there were plenty because look how he looks like he's he's just a white dude on the mic and any Anybody that's a white dude on the mic trying to come up is going to automatically get the comparison to one of the greatest rappers that is, that's ever lived. And that's an unfair comparison to make. But you can tell in this song, though, that he does not have his own style just yet. He doesn't have a persona on the mic. He's he's trying to sound like he's trying to sound like he's signed a Lil Wayne, like like he's signed a Young Money Cash Money because it sounds like a beat from there. He's talking about the things that Lil Wayne would talk about. He's trying to sound like Drake in some portions because those were the winning formulas in 2013, but they were winning formulas because they fit the persona, they fit the person that was rapping them. And that's what I mean by like, this is a good foundation because it shows the potential that he has as a rapper. It just didn't show any kind of personality that was his own. Liquor and the girls are yelling, drown me. Wait, he's still the meanest, still a motherfucking genius. Yeah. Gave your girl a big bang, I think I made her come be this. I'm a samurai, boy. Gotta give your girl a big bang, think I made her what? It's still a motherfucking genius, yeah. gave your girl a big bang, I think I made her come be this. I'm a samurai, boy. Come something. I couldn't hear what he said. It's obviously some kind of wordplay with Big Bang and the Big Bang Theory. Anybody that know? Is it possible for me to look these lyrics up? I don't know how easy it's going to be to find these. Cyborg Cast. It should be with that name. Cyborg. Bro, the song is so old. It's on AZ lyrics. I haven't used AZ lyrics in so long. Give your girl a Big Bang. I think I made her come Venus. Like, yeah, I talking about the Big Bang, but like that that line is just nothing to me. All these lines are just nothing to me. Still a motherfucking genius. Gave your girl a Big Bang. I think I made her come Venus. I'm a Sam all right, all right, that line's a little harder now that I know the line before I said I'm a motherfucking genius because like Big Bang Theory, they're all geniuses on the show. Girl, a Big Bang, I think I made her come Venus. I'm a samurai boy slaying bitches with my penis. Last pharaoh on a beat, I got the people saying lead us, feed us, feed us. I saw that this shit back in my hot top Adidas. I've come a long way since, it's really nice to meet ya. A beast on a beat, but they still try to leash ya. They can't beat ya. A beast on the beat, but still they try to leash ya like you leash it like you leash up a dog who's a beast. That's a tight line. And obviously the samurai, I'm a samurai sword or whatever. I cut a bitch with my dick. That's all straightforward. Like all of these sex lines, they're not hitting as hard as they normally would because I know that this isn't him. This isn't the style that he eventually became. They still try to leash ya. They can't beat ya. Ah, I'm behind Twitter, you some low life scum. I may not have a million views, but you ain't got one. So take a seat for a second, put your thinking cap on, and realize through your eyes you a low life bump. This track is almost done, and all I did was talk dumb shit. At least I'm having fun and telling off a bunch of dumb bricks. Never. Was a cool kid of something that they wasn't. Yeah. Was it? Was it? Was it? Yeah, creative, yeah. musically and native. Yeah. At least he at least he's acknowledging that all he's doing is just spitting like freestyle bars. He's not really saying too much. Creative, yeah. musically and native. Yeah. Barfing on a beat, I puked it out and then I ate it. And I told him I was never fucking stopping till I made it. Man, you similar to piss because the meat you really ain't shit. Who am I? Similar to peace because I mean you really ain't shit like piss and shit the wordplay and He's talking about eating the beat and puking it out so that way he can eat it like eat the beat Like these bars are good, but they're so relentless on this track and there's no like there's no hook So there's nothing to break it all up. It's just non-stop Told him I was never fucking stop until I made it man. similar to piss because the meat you really ain't shit Who am I? Who you asking? Ho? I'm in an arcade jacking off playing whack-a-mole these rap rap whack rap rappers man They gotta go me against you robots and cyborg casserole Nah, it's dope to end. That was dope to end the track on that. Me versus you robots, that's a cyborg casserole. Cause like he's literally eating all of these rappers alive. And everybody's a robot cause they all sound the same. They all sound very mechanical. One could say that he sounds very mechanical in this track as well. He's trying to conform to a sound that isn't him. So he is also being a cyborg in this sense. At least, at least now I'm obviously saying that hindsight is 2020, knowing who we knowing who he is now. But yo.
That was dope. Like, it was dope, that little blast from the past action. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this Wit's best song? No, obviously not. He's got more clever songs than this. He's got hard hitting, more hard hitting songs than this. Even just on his most recent record that he released, there's harder songs than this that don't have as many similes and metaphors and wordplay. This is what I always say that the definition of a good writer to me is someone who can do this, but also know when to put, knows when to put this away and write for emotion and then fill it in with some like bars here and there or some wordplay or some conceptual lyrics like he did with that whole song that was like, like from Cancer's perspective. Like that whole song, that, that that whole song just from Cancer's perspective, that is harder than any of these bars that he just spit right here. Because right here, he's someone who could write good raps, but he wasn't a good writer. There's like a difference between the two. But this right here sets the foundation for everything that he would eventually become because we know he can do this, but that doesn't mean that this is necessarily his style, you know? But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. John, I appreciate the request for this one, bro. Like, it's so dope to go back and see like old, to go back and see artists that I most recently discovered and see where they came from I, I have the same exact moment with nf and people who told me to go react to his moments album like it's like bro this is so not him but it is him at the same time anybody else that wants to potentially get a request in or anybody that wants to potentially support the channel monetarily please do so on patreon first link in the description below it's the only way i get paid that patreon patreon supports the bills for my house for my livelihood for internet for youtube everything so if you want to potentially get in on that action and say that you're helping you're you're helping a cause directly that goes towards me first link in the description follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel the links are down in the description below hit up the discord also down in the description below but that's all that i got for you today ladies and gentlemen i appreciate everybody's time and like i always say at the very end go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace